Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm off to Low Wolf Cove, but I just wanted to um, start this vlog a little bit different. I just took delivery um, of a couple of prints. I've been using a new printer called Stealth Print, and uh, they were kind enough to send me a couple of samples. Um, I've had a couple of prints from them before, a uh, canvas, and, um, and their quality is absolutely fantastic. The guys do a great job and the customer service is really good and uh, yeah they were kind enough to send me these prints. One is on a foam board and one is an A3 print and uh, on a gloss paper and the print quality is fantastic as you can see. I haven't been here since I was about, God, maybe when I was a kid, maybe like eight or nine on like a, a school day out or something. And um, I'd like, yeah, it's, it's, I've been trying to come here for a while. There's no cloud in the sky. I was hoping for a little bit of cloud, but um, we should be, we should be getting a nice bit of light this evening. So there should be a nice sunset on the cards. Um, yeah, having not actually explored this area properly before, I'm a bit stumped for compositions i see a lot of people do the um the grand vista shot of uh, of low earth cove and uh climbing up the side there and then shooting nice and wide and getting the whole of the cove in the shot with the sunset set into the west and uh, i think i'm going to get that shot but i'm just doing a little bit of exploring first i've just hiked up this little hill thing i've come out with my girlfriend primrose and my younger brother and uh, they don't want to <laughs> scramble up this hill and um I'm pretty glad they didn't because I'm a bit concerned about how I'm going to get down, but um, <laughs> yeah, so that's the fun of it. So we're just um, having a quick scout around to see if I can stumble across any compositions and um, yeah, hopefully we get some nice light and I can get a nice image later on. So I scrambled down the other side of the hill uh, down towards the sea and there were these lovely leading lines leading straight into the sea and over to the other end of Low Earth Cove and I sized up a composition in a portrait orientation looking straight down and uh, yeah I feel this composition really works um, it was shot at 30 seconds f11 and ISO 50 with the Lee filters big stopper on to walk up the uh, side of um, of the hill now to get a shot of Low Earth Cove dragging my little brother up here with a bit of a nightmare and um, the tides come in now so we can't go back uh, along the beach we're gonna have to walk back over the top and he's concerned of the wind <laughs> so um, yeah so it's about 20 minutes maybe 15 minutes to sunset now and uh, it's looking really nice unfortunately there's no cloud up in the sky so it's gonna be a bit well, it's just it's just not going to have much as much color as I as I'd hope, but um, it's still going to be a nice image. It's a beautiful place to to come and uh, for a landscape photographer, it's, it's absolutely stunning. So the light didn't really happen in the end. It would have been nice to have some nice clouds up in the sky, but it was still a nice place to sit there and watch the sun go down. I did struggle for compositions though. My 24 to 70 mil lens just wouldn't wide enough. I could have done with a 16 to 35 mil. 
So I experimented with a couple of panoramic shots and they really didn't work when I got back to the Mac. So I settled for a simple composition in the end and I'm really happy with the way this, the shot came out. And this image was shot at a tenth of a second at f13 ISO 50. Thank you.